100 million. That's how much you get if you kill my hardcore Iron Man. PvP but hardcore Iron Man. It's an Iron Man that's limited to PvP worlds, and whenever I die, the series ends. Episode 11 of Hardcore Iron Man Limited to PvP Worlds. This account has been alive in PvP Worlds for 250 hours. And during this entire time, the account has stayed one defense. However, in this episode, we will be increasing our defense level by 40 levels, which means our combat level will be increased by 10, therefore putting our Hardcore Iron Man in a much greater risk than ever before. Just to run west until you see a dungeon sign, which you passed earlier. Go to that dungeon sign, and you'll find a And that is Monkey Madness 1 completed on a PvP only account. And I will be accepting the experience reward from Dario very very soon, but not just yet, because I want to keep one defense for a bit longer. So the main goal for this episode is to get my Herbro level to 38 for prayer potions, and then get my combat level up, and then lastly, and most importantly, don't die. We start this episode with 902 total level. And that's one full looting bag completed. 46 strength? Who's this guy? Numbfall. Can I kill him? Where is he going? Where is he going? Come here boy! Come here boy! And he got away. 26 farming. Level 28, Eternal King. Now you are the king man. You are the king. And that's a full looting bag. Let's head back to the back. 47 strength. That's another full bag of herbs. 48 strength. And that's another full bag. Territory herb lore. What the actual f? 31 herb lore. 27 farming. 32 herb lore. And that's another full looting bag. 49 strength. I don't PK but for the content I may try and kill you. Oh this guy is so cute. I don't PK but for the content I may try to kill you. <laughs> Look at him! 33 Herblor. This is very very interesting. I don't know if you can see it, but there's two people here. Mains hiding as an easter egg. 48 farming. Who is this splasher and why is he splashing here? And that's 34 Herblor. We can soon make prayer potions. 29 farming. 35 Herblor. Three levels to go. Oh my god. Look at that. That's dangerous. Holy sh she just scared up as well. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done for today We're still alive Goodbye, and I'm back and as you all probably know the dead man mode tournament is online right now Which means all the best PKers are PKing while I'm you know a hardcore iron in PvP worlds I don't think many people are online right now, so I feel pretty safe I don't have too much to worry about except those people who didn't qualify and probably there's a lot of them what the fuck? What's this? No! He got away! And then there's someone here! And he tapped. He looks a bit. He looks like a pure. Yeah, that's Monka is. And he tapped. Woo! 3 for 3. Did I just miss 50 strength? I actually think I missed 50 strength. Current Lot of Seeds, so I'm back here. Killing Moss Giants. 30 farming. We can now do Willow Trees. 36 Herblor, just 2 levels to go. Bam, 31 farming. Bam, 32 farming. Bam, 33 farming. And that's the beautiful 34. What the? Oh my god, I panicked for no reason. Yeah, I'm out here. Oh my god. I can't even get myself 38 Herblor. How am I gonna do this? I'm going to get myself a few construction levels for one reason and one reason only. I want to be able to use these house teleports. So, currently we have Remington, but I want to be able to move my house to Taverly, Polney Beach, and Great Corrin for now. Maybe in the future Relic can bring Heaven as well. But for now, we're going for Taverly. So what's the fastest way to get planks as an Iron Man? Well, as you can see here, just east of Barbarian Assault, you can see there's a plank spawn. Of four planks to be exactly. So it's very simple. Pick all these four planks up, hop worlds, and continue the process. This guy found me while I was getting myself planks, so... And 10 construction, we can now move our place 
Too tabbily. Strawberry's dead. At least the runners are alive. Seven, eight. Oh my god, eight runners. My hardcore Iron Man is now out of membership. So here's another bond. That's a five farming. Wow. Holy. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. How did you find me? That's 51 strength. And that's one full looting bag completed. Well, this is fun. And that's another full looting bag completed. That's 52 strength. That's another full looting bag. Who the fuck is that? Captain Jack. Wait. Hold up, hold up, where are you going? That's another looting bag completed. 37 herb lore. And that's another full looting bag. And that's 53 strength. 54 strength. This girl wanna buy me a bond. Oh, she actually went through and bought me a bond. Yo, thank you so much, Mr. 88 Combat. You guys don't actually have to give me any donations in game if you see me. It's enough support if you leave a nice comment down below or your best roast. But either way, thank you so much, Mr. 88 Combat. And this is the last potion. 38 herb lore. Oh my god, that took such a long time. We can now do prayer potions. And now the real content begins. But before that, we gotta do this. Two defense. Oh my god. And that's my thumbnail. Two defense, that's the start of a new build. Hmm, should this be the thumbnail or two defense? All I need now is snake grass, and obviously it's much faster to run from Remington Portal to the snake grass location. However, I'm running from Tavoli because it's a lot safer. And as you guys know, I put safety above everything. Oh my god, did I just DC? That's my daily Wi-Fi reset. Ah, that could have ended badly. Dragon Slayer has been completed. 55 strength, 33 defense. We are combat level 67 now. Against so many combat levels. 977 total as well. Green dragon head body. Rune plate legs. What? What's that? Oh my god, that made me panic. 57 strength, 68 HP, 48 attack, 40 defense, perfect. Combat level 69 as well. Playing this account just became so much more dangerous. And you know, these PKs with 84 combat, they are usually maxed with um, full void or circus, so it's very risky for me, especially when I have 68 HP, so they can basically one hit me. <laughs> Look at my gear now. <laughs> I'm such a champion. You guys know where I'm at. It's time for my first attempt of getting myself a fire cape. This is my setup. Prey potions, karam ones, my staminas, and this is the gear. Feels bad, man. Let's try. Oh my god. I think I found a bug. As you can see here, when the circle is fully red, I will regain one hit point. That's one full circle and now the hit points is 39. This rapid heal prayer is supposed to heal our hit points two times the rate, but in this case, it restarts the healing timer. So basically, if you're flicking this prayer on and off, it's actually slower healing than not using the prayer at all. We're gonna report this. I think that's a good explanation for what it does. So yeah. Alright, it's around 20 minutes later, I've restored all my hit points and uh, I have basically no supplies left, just 4 Karan ones and 3 prayer potions. So I need all the supplies to be able to complete the fire cape on my first attempt. I got 2 Karan ones and 1 prayer potion left, wave 59. Oh my god. Where's the safe spot guys? So I didn't get the fire cape in this episode, but I got wave 60. And hopefully in the next episode, I will be able to showcase my fire cape. I'm gonna get 200k cash by thieving these guards. 48, thieving. And that's 211k. We're done here. We've got an extra easy clue scroll as well. And that's 200k, gone. Just like that. Can't even use it yet. And from the clue scroll, we get... Bruh. 49, attack. And that's 50 attack, we can now use the Iban staff. And before we end this episode, we're gonna do one barrel strip with the Iban staff. 
Can we end the video on a good note? No, we can't. <laughs>